Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, your source for Ford news, update, and information with a video on the 2024 Ford Edge. So we are covering our complete guide videos. We cover all the standard equipment, plus the different optional equipment and packages in each of the different trim levels for the Edge. And we're going to be talking about the SEL trim on this video. So if you like videos like this and want to stay updated for Ford news and information, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that way you can be subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell, you can be notified next time another video like this uploaded to the YouTube channel. So the 2024 uh, Ford Edge order bank is open right now. You can put your order in. So if you want to know how do I want it configured, uh, do I want the SE, SEL trim, hopefully this video can help you out and find out whether or not the SEL trim will work for you and what other options you have that are available if you want to go in and put a custom order in with a dealer or when these come available. Uh, you know exactly what you're looking for uh, for different trim levels and you know what you want there. So we're going to cover, go through and first talk about all the standard equipment. So we're going to talk about the, uh, now of course too, uh, don't forget I mentioned you can order this with your local dealer and such. If you do want to order through us, we do have a YouTube special. So you can, we'll have more information about that where it includes free shipping here at the end of the video. Timestamps down below so you can move around in the video, including a timestamp for the free shipping. We'll talk about that during the conclusion section of the video that clear at the end. So we're going to first talk about mechanical, the standard features, which is going to be the mechanical, exterior, interior, and we're going to break in uh, the safety features. We'll break it down in that format. We'll go through here and, uh, and cover this. So we're going to use Ford's build and price website uh, for the 2023 model because it is not up yet for the 2024 model year. So they do not have that uh, going. Uh, just so you know, let's go up here, uh, go click on Ford uh, from the homepage on Ford.com. You'll get up here to shop and go to build and price. And then from there, you'll see it's broken down SUVs and crossovers. Uh, we do have the edge right here. It's 23. The 24 is not showing up yet. Uh, they already have 24 Expedition, but not the 23 Edge. And I think mainly because it's about the same. So we'll be going through pricing differences between those. We can click start our build here. And uh, we know about supply shortages. We do have the price list here. So we will update you on the pricing differences between last year and this year. So the SEL uh, starts out. Last year started out at 39345 It is 39565 So a little increase there, only uh, two hundred twenty dollars. That's really not much of an increase for, based on other models that we've seen an increase on. But we're going to click in here to start our build, and we'll talk about some of these mechanical features. Uh, first thing on this one, this is SEL. We're going to go and uh, pick a different color. We're, we're going to pick that uh, Atlas Blue on this particular one. Um, but we're going to go to powertrain section here and go through what's standard and uh, what's available. So it is going to come. Um, it's available in all-wheel drive only, so it's not available in any kind of rear-wheel drive or front-wheel drive. It's all-wheel drive on all of the edges uh, for this year as well as last year. Uh, 2.0 EcoBoost engine is the only engine available for the uh, SEL trim with the 8-speed automatic transmission as well. So that's going to be the configuration and setup here. You do get auto start-stop technology. Uh, means we come up to stoplight, stop sign. You press that brake, it's going to shut the engine off. Let go of the brake, it's going to turn it back on. So you can deactivate that. There's usually going to be an A with a circle around it somewhere on the dash, typically the instrument panel, where you can deactivate that for that engine cycle. Also, we do have for the transmission, it is an 8-speed automatic transmission. We'll include an active transmission warm-up as well. They've been doing that on a lot of the edges. Uh, intelligent all-wheel drive, as we mentioned, does have torque vectoring control. Also, does have the hill start assist, so it's going to help you if you're on a hill. To, to start the vehicle without drifting back and also electric power assist steering that e-pass so since it's electronically controlled it makes it a little bit easier to that turn that steering wheel when going slower speeds but then when going faster you're not going to have them push you from side to side either so all right so that's all the mechanical features let's get into some of the exterior features and we're going to click down here into exterior so we can go through some of these show you a front image here uh, so on the front for headlights first you will have a by led low and high beam headlights you also get LED signature lighting with the dark bezel. So that means signature lighting is going to be right up here uh, on, on the vehicle. And then we also do have the, the auto lamp, which means automatic headlights will come on automatically when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light if you have an auto setting. And uh, also, of course, I mentioned low and high beam 
headlights. So the high beams are automatic as, as well. So if it's dark enough outside, it's going to turn those high beams on. If someone approaches you in the city lights, it'll shut them off. That is a feature you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section. I do mention that because we usually shut ours off because we live in a, a curvy road. And sometimes you hit a car and it's it's too quick for you to be able to shut those off. So if you won't, don't like those, you want to uh, do it manually, you can deactivate that in the lighting section of your vehicle setting screen. Also, LED configurable daytime running lights, I believe, on the uh, signature on the SEL, I should say, the signature lighting is what that daytime running light is going to be for you as well there. Um, also, it looks like we do have the uh, LED uh, fog lights down here, but I don't see that that's listed as an upgrade to the SEL from the SE. So uh, I'll have to do maybe a little looking on that. But um, so there you go. And then for your grill, you do have the uh, uh, upgraded grill. This is iconic silver honeycomb with chrome surround. So it actually is the same grill as we do see for the SE trim. So no difference in the grill. It doesn't look like there and then we do have the body colored bumper up here on the top part molded in black at the bottom just like on the um, se trim as well we do have active grill shutters are so going to open and close when it needs to to allow for airflow in we do have a laminated uh, windshield it means it's two pieces of glass with plastic in between to help protect it uh, if something comes in to break that uh, to come in and hit that windshield then that way you don't have to worry about it shattering and coming inside that plastic in there will help adhere that and keep it and, and hold it to till you can get to some place. Also, it makes it a little bit quieter on the highway as well, having two pieces of glass right there. So uh, the wheels, 18-inch. Uh, it is the split-spoke sparkle silver painted aluminum wheel. That's the optional wheel for the SE. It's the standard wheel for the SEL trim. The tires are a 245-60R18 all-season tire, which is the same as on the SE. Uh, individual tire pressure monitoring system as well. Four-wheel disc brakes with ABS as well as included there. For your mirrors, you do get upgraded for this one. You'll see body-colored mirror cap as an upgrade from the SE to the SEL. You're going to get power and heat feature now with the SEL uh, on the a manual fold for the mirror if you want to fold that in towards the glass in those parking lots and such. Bliss, blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. So if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to light in the corner of that mirror unless you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Cross traffic alert uses those same sensors. So if someone crosses your path behind you as you're backing up or you have it in reverse, I should say, then it's going to alert you a series of tones that you need to stop. That there might be somebody back there, puts a message on a productivity screen, also lights up the mirror from the side that they're they're currently located. And so you want to make sure that that's clear on both sides before you go ahead and back up. Uh, for your belt line molding, so we're going to move this over here to the side. And you kind of see it there, actually, in this, uh, this uh, rear. You do have the chrome belt line molding, and it goes around the window as well. So that's an upgrade from the SE to the SEL. Body color door handles. Uh, lower cladding is going to be the molded in black like we did see on the front. You'll see that in the back as well when we get back there. Um, we do have the intelligent access. So with the key fob in your pocket, you can walk up to the front doors, put your hands in the door handle. It's automatically going to unlock the vehicle, allow you to get access inside. Uh, your remote, uh, you will have a remote if you you know want to unlock it uh, further out. You can also roll down these windows from the outside of the vehicle. If you hit that unlock once and press and hold it for like five seconds, that's called global open. So it'll open up the windows, allow for air for the uh, you know some of that hot air to to come out of the vehicle before you get in there, uh, which is a nice feature to have. It's just rolling down and does not go up if you do the lock feature. So some vehicles will do that, not this one here. You do have uh, security lock, passive anesthetic system means only the coded key that's in the vehicle can start the vehicle. So uh, easy fuel cap as filler door. So if we go over here to this other one, you'll see that door right there, driver's side, which I like. Press that, opens it up, no uh, cap to worry about, lean behind, getting your hands dirty, anything like that. Also, you do have the privacy glass in these back windows and back glass. Uh, keeps it a little bit cooler for everybody. The spoiler back here is a body-colored rear spoiler. Center high-mounted stoplight on the top up there. You do have rear defrost with rear wiper back here with a washer. Um, you do have also LED taillights with the amber turn signal lights right there as well. And then we do have uh, for this the intelligent three-blink turn signal as well. So uh, when you uh, just press it... Uh, you don't have to, if you turn it all the way on, it'll keep blinking. But if you just do it, just tap it a little bit, three blink so you can turn over and, and go into turn lanes. Rear view camera as well includes a camera washer, 
you do have rear parking sensors. It's an upgrade to the SEL trim. So that way, as you're backing up, now we can see behind you, you're going to alert if you get too close to anybody as well. Body colored um, bumpers up here at the top with the molded in black down here at the bottom. Uh, we And then manual lift gate as well. So you just press that lever right there. It's going to open up. Um, and then we do have a tire inflator and sealant kit. So no spare as standard equipment. There's an option for it. We'll talk about that later. A rear cargo management inside with some tie down hooks inside there as well. So uh, there you go. And also from the back, you can press a button in the back of the rear cargo and it releases the 60 40 split bench seat for the second row and allows it to fall forward. So that's also some buttons that you'll find in the cargo area as well as a, a um, one to or a 12 volt power point in the back as well. If you want to power some devices, cooler, something like that in the back, you're going to be able to do that. So dual exhaust for uh, tell um, dual exhaust as well. You can see one of them there. And if we move over, you'll see the other one over here. So you're going to have that dual exhaust. Now moving inside, we do have carpeted mats uh, front and rear uh, that are going to be standard equipment, carpeted flooring as well, of course, illuminated entry with courtesy lamp delay. Uh, the front console surface, uh, on the top up here, can't see it from here, is a little bit different color than the base. This is a Paragon is what they're calling it. The instrument panel across here is the gray Anno is what it's called, but also it does look a little different than the base. Uh, silver twilight accent around those vents, just like the base model and around your controls as well. Um, and then the center, uh, of course, you have a console coming through with the center stack. This is the center stack console coming through, media bin up there. We'll talk more about that. Red redial shifter knob here with the parking brake there um, and then of course a console lid there for a console inside you'll have a powerpoint inside uh, actually the powerpoint you'll have one in the rear cargo area and you'll also have one located right there to the right and with a little compartment back there as well to store some things in as uh, which is a little unique to the um, to the edge so it's pretty cool and then there's also a little spot up here it used to be a door in the past now it's just a little compartment to put things on if you want with the little rubberized things that won't slide around on there too so talk about the seats uh it should be active x seating uh standard equipment on the sel front bucket seats as you can see here we do have an eight-way power driver seat so that's forward and back up and down tilt as well so you can bring that seat cushion up and down and then power lumbar and power recline uh, four-way power passenger seat forward and back up and down with manual recline so you'll see the switch right here and the manual recline there for them so heated seat for the driver and front passenger as well and as we mentioned 60 40 split bench seat for the second row seat does have an armrest that comes down you can recline that seat back if you want to recline it back you can do that also i uh, mentioned there's buttons inside for tilting it forward from the the rear cargo area the both the second first and second row head restraints are manual adjustable up and down for those and you do have latch system here in the outbound seats in the second row uh lower anchors and tethers for children to securely fasten those front and rear facing uh car seats uh right back there so for the windows it is got power windows uh front row has one touch up and down so hard press it down they're going to go down uh, pull it till you feel a click up and it'll they'll go up so you don't have to hold it the whole time uh, the door the door locks are a course power lock and unlock you also have an auto lock and auto unlock which means once you got go on a certain speed it's going to lock them up and when you stop you uh i think you open that driver's door it's going to unlock the other doors as well uh, child safety locks so if you don't want those back doors unlocked you can put child safety locks on so the kids can open those from inside um, steering wheel is a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel pull the lever underneath the steering wheel will go up and down forward and back you also have leather wrap steering wheel too so you can uh which is a nice feature nice uh, it's an upgrade from the se to the sel uh, on the steering wheel have audio controls as well as um, cruise control on there and five-way control buttons for uh, one on the left and the right to control the two productivity screens you have two 4.2 inch um, lcd displays there with a message center outside temperature all those kind of things usually the one on the right will control things on the screen the one on the left will be different settings and such you might want to set up compass that kind of stuff push button start located right under the vent right there as you can see just to the left of that screen uh, we do have for climate control dual zone auto climate control so the driver and front passenger two different temperatures you can set it on an automatic like 72 degrees and such for those 
Um, also, second row floor vents as well as uh, rear console vents. So behind the console, you'll have vents for those in the rear seat back there so they can stay cool or warm. For the audio controls, AM, FM, stereo, MP3 player, six-speaker speaker audio sound system, Sirius XM with a 360L, satellite radio gets three months of prepaid subscription, um, does get a USB uh, media hub in the media hub area, an A and a C right there to connect in uh, as well for audio. And uh, don't forget to, uh, I, I'm going to start mentioning this on my videos, um, Sirius XM is not available in Hawaii or Alaska. So just want to make sure people know that. And that, again, three-month subscription. After that, you have to pay for the Sirius uh, satellite radio if you want it. The screen is a Sync 4A system with the enhanced voice recognition system, 12-inch portrait-style screen, as you can see there, with the dash cards that are about in the middle. You can also control uh, your climates can be controlled down here. Um, and uh, so you can control some of the other features in there as well. Cloud connected. It does have over the air updates, uh, wireless Android auto and wireless Apple CarPlay. Digital owner's manual can uh, does have the conversational voice command. So that's a wake up word. So you can say, OK, forward or OK, forward pass. And it'll automatically start listening. So you don't have to press the button on the steering wheel. Um, and also comes with Ford Pass Connect, which allows you to connect to, to the vehicle using the Ford Pass app. You can unlock, unlock and lock the vehicle from anywhere, uh, remote start the vehicle from anywhere, schedule remote start times, see the fuel pressure or the fuel you have inside or the tire pressure in the tires, as well as where the vehicle is located all through that app. Um, auto dimming rear view mirror. So you don't have to uh, go into 360 view here. It takes a little while. So no lever to worry about. It's going to automatically dim that mirror. Cars will come up behind you with those bright lights. You can uh, It'll automatically adjust those. You'll notice it does have a sunglass bin up here on the overhead console with uh, lights up there. Your visors, vanity visors that illuminate. So you can pop those down for the driver and front passenger. Uh, open that up. There's a mirror in there. It's illuminated behind the visor. And those visors can swing, come off of the clips there in the middle right there. And they can swing to the other side if that sun's coming in from the side of the vehicle. Um, now, also uh, for storage, you have the media bin I mentioned uh, up here where you can store your phone in there. You have a little compartment there. A lot, of, Most of your phones can go slide in there if you want. Um, you can put your key in there, whatever. You have uh, storage in here. Don't forget the glove box as well. And as I mentioned from the side one is the storage right there as well. And then, of course, in the rear cargo area. So plenty of places to store things. <clears throat> All right. Now. Uh, talking about getting into some of the uh, safety features now. Um, does have advanced track with roll stability control and curve control. So help you keep you on your intended path. Going to that curve maybe too fast. Use a series of brakes around the vehicle to help control that. Um, and then also not to, to roll over as well is the goal there. Or slick driving roads, that kind of thing. For the airbags, driver and front passenger has a dual stage front airbag. Deploys a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. You also do have a driver knee airbag, as well as the front passenger has a glove box integrated knee airbag too. And then side impact airbags for the driver and front passenger. If that have that side collision, then it's going to deploy the airbag and to, and to help protect them. And also you do have the safety canopy airbag for the first and second row that deploys down from the roof line with a rollover sensor. So the vehicle rolls over, it's going to deploy that. Uh, so that way, if there's any, you know, the, the body comes in and smashes, the windows break, that glass doesn't come in and hurt you. So there you go. Um, does have pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. So it comes with pedestrian detection, forward collision warning, and dynamic brake support. Uh, so that's going to preload those brakes, alert you, and let you know, hey, the car in front of you is going too fast. You're going to hit them if you don't stop. Preloads the brakes so you don't hit them. Also detects pedestrians as well as vehicles too. Post-collision braking, so it's going to break the vehicle if you are in an accident and such. Afterwards, uh, it'll break the vehicle. So if you maybe for, you're unconscious or you forget to put it in park, it's going to break the vehicle. Also, us post-crash alert system as well that honks the horns, flashes lights. If you're in an accident off the side of the road, people can come to your uh, help. Also, lastly, the lane keeping system. You get lane keeping assist as well as alert and driver alert. So the driver alert is going to alert you if you take your hands off the steering wheel too often. If you have that activated, you can deactivate that if you want. Also, you have lane keeping uh, alert system that allows you to leave your lane. But when you go over those lines, it's going to vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've, you've crossed over. Also, you have the, the aid system or the assist system that helps keep you in your lane. Uh, so you can use those that way. And those, again, those features are features you have to activate and can be activated 
whether you have the cruise control or not. It's not cruise de cruise control dependent. So you can have that on even in town with the cruise on. So uh, that's all of those, except for I did want to cover some of the different colors. And uh, so let's go, since we're already on the interior, let's cover the interior colors here first. You do have the ebony interior like you're seeing here. So the seats, the flooring, uh, the dash and everything, the doors are all ebony. The, the top of the, the top cover is not the dune interior. It is the gray, kind of a slate gray uh, headliner and pillars coming down. Now, if you go with the dune interior, <clears throat> you can see that it changes. Some of it's still black. So the flooring, uh, you can see the center console, the dash will still be black. Uh, you'll see some of the seats are as well. The, the seat covers, the fronts will be uh, the ActiveX material will be dune color as well as the inserts in the door as well and then your headliner will be that dune color as well so there's a there's that so talking about the paint colors now we have many more paint colors now available on this trim uh on the sel than we did with the se so we do have actually i'm going to pull out my colors and make sure we get them all right here because this we're going off of 23's information uh just to make sure and be clear the sel does have the um ebony and dune this year as well for you now <clears throat> looks like all these color options are available we do have the um a, a gate black and that is available so your black color and um jewel there shouldn't be any different colors this year than last year we do have a burgundy velvet that is 495 it is a clear coat and it's usually darker than that so just so you know that it's a little darker than that we do have this next one is star white or oxford white so Oxford white does not cost extra for that color. We have a stone blue, which is what we had it on just a second, or Atlas blue. Sorry, we had it on just a second ago, and that's a, that's pretty accurate to what it looks like in person. Uh, we do also have the rapid red. That is a tinted clear coat as well, and that's pretty accurate to the color it is. Um, it is $4.95 because it's a clear coat protected. This is the one that is star white. That is a tri-coat. It's not telling you that there, but it's three coats of different shades of white to give you the color. That's why it's $9.95. They paint it three times over. And then this one here is uh, the iconic silver. Uh, so there's no cost for that color. Uh, we have seen that for several years. Carbonized gray as well is a no cost color. And then this next one, this is uh, the one that, that I clicked on. is stone gray or stone blue. Sorry, that is also a tinted clear coat. That's why it's $4.95. And that's pretty accurate to the color. Maybe a little darker than that. And then we do also have the forged green, which is darker than that in person. Um, so stone, uh, the forged green is very pretty as well. It's on the Explorer as well. So I think all those are accurate to the order guide. So yes, that is correct. So anyway, so there you go. So we have that as also available for you. So, all right. So that's all of that, uh, those features. Um, so, uh, and then uh, we'll get into some of the different packages next. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go over some of the different packages uh, next. So let's go over here to the packages. And uh, actually, let's take our paint color back to, I think it was Atlas Blue, actually, is what we had. There we go, Atlas Blue, and cover the packages here. All right, so, all right. First off, we're going to talk about the Ford Copilot 360 Assist Plus package. So we won't do it necessarily in this order. So, um, so last year that was eleven uh, one thousand one hundred ninety five dollars. Um, this year that package is one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. So it went up by about fifty five dollars. Just so you know that uh, uh, should include all the same features. Uh, I'll cover it based uh, from my notes here. Uh, biggest thing on this is you're going to get the adaptive cruise control with stop and go lane centering. Uh, for you, what's great about this is that that's adaptive cruise. So if you're going like it shows there, you're going maybe you're going set you're going 35. The person in front of you is going 25. Of course, this will be probably be faster than this on the highway. You can probably set a cruise going 25, um, but it'll slow you down to go their speed. So you're seeing it's matching up 25 miles an hour here in this case. So it'll allow you to go that speed. If they come to a complete stop. It'll bring you to a stop, and as it, they start going, you'll start going. So that is what the stop and go stands for there. Lane centering allows it to stay in the center of your lane. So that way, it won't let you get over like lane, like the lane keeping system. This would kind of oversee that and go a little above and beyond that. So it'll keep you in the center of your lane. So I like this. You can actually several times, if you need to take your hands off the steering wheel, uh, if you're eating or something, you're able to do that with this system uh, for about 15 seconds or so. Um, this uh, just makes a little bit more comfortable ride and such a little bit easier because it will keep you in the center of your lane. 
Now, it does uh, have the evasive steering assist. So if for some reason you're not able to stop in time, you know you're not going to, you want to avoid that. Maybe there's nobody in that lane beside you. It's going to assist in the steering to make it easier in that speed when you're trying to brake or something to uh, go ahead and turn. Um, so it's kind of using that evasive steering assist to help you with that. Uh, that is something you can activate and deactivate in your settings, though, in your advanced uh, driver assist features as well. And then also going to get the connected built to navigation. So three years of service with this um, so that you're getting connected built to navigation. So you'll have the on screen navigation here for this as well. Three years of service after that, you'll have to uh, get uh, pay for that. Uh, but that'll be on there. So you don't have to use rely on Android Auto, Apple CarPlay navigation if you don't want to. So um, so that's uh, again, that's uh, available for you and is optional uh on your edge so it does not require anything else other than that so the next package i want to talk about is the convenience package this one right down here so last year it was 1250 and this year it is um actually that's the one that's 1250 this year um so there you go so that one's uh yeah 1250 for that package i actually got this copilot 360 it says it's 1195 um this year it's saying let me look at that ford copilot 360 assist plus package um requires 201a is 775 it actually is cheaper this year for that one so i wanted to correct myself there so that's 775 for that um the uh because i got off i was looking at the convenience package which is the same for this year um in fact it looks like all these packages are about the same so uh convenience package um uh, as you can see there includes those features I think those are all the same for this year as well so it is going to give you the 110 outlet um so you'll see the uh, so you'll see the phone down in there that's that media hub area that i talked about earlier with the usb type c and a and you're seeing the wireless charging pad down there that's what that picture is showing you there but you also get a 110 outlet that'll be located uh, typically behind the console of the vehicle uh you also get let's go and add this so we can see what that looks like on the vehicle there we go. So, um, cause there are a couple of different, uh, features there. So this is where you're getting those fog lights. So earlier it showed us an image of the fog lights. They won't have it unless you get this package. So I was correct in the standard features have an iconic silver bezel as well, right there. So you're going to have the fog lights are going to be including this, that 110 outlet perimeter alarm. Perimeter alarm means if you have that door locked, someone tries to get into it or they break the lock or something, try to get in, the, the alarm is going to go off for you. And again, don't forget that only the coded key can start the vehicle because of the secure lock, passive, and a theft system, which is standard equipment. Uh, this is where you also get your power lift gate. So with, whether you use your remote or use the button that's located right there, it's going to power lift gate it up. This is where you get that. Also remote start system. So it'll have, you can still remote start it using the app. You want to find a quicker way, the remote, if you're close enough proximity, will remote start it much faster. Also, you do get universal garage door openers on this as well. So three different buttons up here. It gives you the re remote transmitters for those garage doors, up to three different garage doors. Uh, if you want to open those up, uh, program those, you can to those buttons. Uh, and then the wireless charging pad, as I mentioned. So this is a pretty cool package 1250 i think is a pretty reasonable for all those features that you're getting power lift gates a big one the wireless charging pad is another big one uh fog lights the outlet as well so pretty cool uh features there uh for the 1250 there so um and then the sport appearance package 1295 that is the price that it is for this year as well so that stayed the same uh let's uncheck this for right now and then let's go ahead and select this 1295 for the sport appearance package so you can kind of see what that's going to look like it does tell you to go to the black or a different interior it looks like it does change the color of the seats but let's go to the exterior first you can see what that looks like so this is kind of like similar to the black appearance package for the se in a sense you get the 18 inch carbonized gray alloy wheels so a little bit different look to it so it's a it's not going to be black on all of it. It's going to be just part of it. So you're going to get carbonized gray wheels, 18 inch there, and the the uh, all terrain tires are going to go with it. So it's a P24560 R18 all terrain tire. You get um, ActiveX seating inside, except this time it's going to be. You're going to see there it is the Navy Pier interior with orange stitching on there. So a little bit different look, and that's why you have to go with the black onyx interior environment. Um, and then you get the seats. So that way you're still having the black on the bottom, the console and everything. The, you'll notice the headliner is that gray like it is for the black Onyx environment. But now you're going to get the Navy Pier ActiveX seats. Um, so going back to the outside, you get Beltline molding. 
Uh, this look like it is still the now it's saying it's black. So they did not update the image on this. So Beltline molding will be black. That's going to be this molding right here around the window. So that'll turn to black. Uh, so I don't know. It does say Beltline, and that's typically this section right here. And this would be the window. So we'll have to see since this is not correct. I'm not sure. And maybe let me get a different view there. There we go. So they did update it on this image. So you can see that it's black along here. And then it is still right here and wrapping around will be chrome there. So let me get another view. And see. Actually, maybe not. I don't know. It might need to. No, it does look like it's chrome along there. But bell line usually is along here. Uh, but I think on the edge, it's everything. So that should go to black instead of the chrome around the outside. The front bumper up here. So this insert down here, instead of being that molded in black, it is going to be the lower part will be dark carbonized gray here. Uh, door inserts um, on the inside there will be going keep going back and forth. Navy Pier as well. I didn't catch that uh, earlier, so you'll have that too. The grill, going back to this, you're going to notice is black, the pillars are black bars. So nice black bars that go across here. So you'll have, instead of a honeycomb design, you'll have bars coming across here. And then uh, right with the black as well on the uh, back there in the background. So, And then you'll get the roof rock, roof rack rails. Uh, so those roof rails, I should say, not. Uh, and then also your mirror caps are going to be black as well. And then the last one on the inside, uh, moving to this here, your pillar there is going to look a little different. It's going to be the Paragon, so it should match up. And uh, so that's going to be a little bit different applique in there as well. So a uh, pretty cool look there to it. So that's a nice little package for $12.95. You get a lot of upgrades there. Uh, so there you go. That's an option for you if you want to go that route. So give you a couple more last images before moving on. So we do have that as well. Um, couple other uh, packages another package we have here we do have the class 2 trailer tow package with trailer sway control uh, so that is at 435 last year uh, this year that is 435 as well uh, so that package there is going to get you a core requires for all wheel drive but it is all wheel drive this year they probably bought that over from 22 uh, to 23 uh, because that year was not all wheel drive with standard so you'll get select shift capabilities as well with this uh, you'll also get the, the string wheel paddle shifters. So if we add this, let's add that package. And, of course, you're going to see it does in, also include a hitch, trailer sway control, and four-pin wiring as well for you back here. Uh, but if we do go to that, let's go to that steering wheel view. Um, should update, and I uh, don't think it's updated yet. But there should, should be some paddle shifters back here. And if you can see it where you can shift it using a manual uh, shift there, that just makes it a little bit easier. If you're pulling a trailer coming down from a mountain or something like that, you want to maybe go into that manual mode and shift it yourself so that uh, it saves you on some brakes and such like that. But you're going to have that all come with that. Uh, so the hitch, trailer switch control, as well as select shift and the paddle shifter. So uh, that's pretty cool getting all that. So let's deactivate that. And then also you have the cargo accessory package is 290. Double check this one. I think that's right. 290 this year as well. Uh, get you the uh, retractable cargo cover up here, as you can see. Tonneau cover is what they call it. Um, and so you can pull that. Uh, you can take that out as well. Floor liner as well. That's uh, all weather floor liner in the bottom to protect it. Cargo mat is what they call that. And then the cargo, the rear bumper protector is going to go on the bumper itself. So if you add that. And uh, it takes a while sometimes. And then we go to the exterior features, uh, the back. You can see that bumper cover right up there. That's what you're getting with that as well. So uh, pretty cool that you get all those features. So that's all the packages that I wanted to cover uh, here in this part of the video. Now let's go ahead and move down to talk about some of the uh, other features. We do have some some wheels. We do, do know that this wheel is the wheel that's part of that sport package. It'll ask us to add it. We're going to say no for now because we know that's included. But we do have this other optional wheel here that's also available. Um, so I'm um, just checking off some of these other packages we covered. Um, so you do have also that one there. That this wheel here is an 18-inch bright machine aluminum wheel with the premium dark stainless painted pockets. So you have that wheel option. It says $8.95 last year. Um, that wheel option is uh, $8.95 this year as well. So you'll have that. Also moving down, speaking, talking about wheels, um, you do have the mini spare wheel that is available, $100 for that as well, and that's what it costs this year too. So if you don't want that tire inflator, inflator and sealant kit, you can add the mini spare and have that. So that is just optional. You just have to make sure you add the $100 option for that as well. 
now. So make sure I mention that. Also, uh, for exterior features here, uh, just kind of making sure I take note of everything. We do have the roof rack side rails black. It is included in that sport appearance package, but it's 165 last year. And this year it is also 165. So excuse me, 165 as well. So you do have you have the, the option for black or silver, 165 for each one. Um, it's only showing me silver on the order guide. Um, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to get black because uh, the order guide is only showing silver. So they might have made that change for this year. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing black as an option. So we'll have to see uh, when you place that order, your dealership will let you know which if it's silver or black. But so um a couple of these are dealer installed options we'll talk about and get to that when we get to dealer installed options. The engine block heater um, was $90 last year. It is $90 this year. So if you do want to keep your vehicle outside during the winter, you might want to add this. So that way you can keep that engine warm uh, so that it can start even easier in the mornings. Um, the last extra feature I want to talk about that's not showing on the build and price uh, is the front license plate bracket. So if you live in a state that requires a front license plate, it's standard equipment. That's probably why they don't put it on here. States like Kansas is not required, so then it's a standalone option. It's a no-charge option. doesn't cost you anything and does require the dealership to put that on there for you. So, so if you do want it, if you're you know, one of those states, you want to make sure you tell your dealer to add that to your vehicle so that way they put it on at no charge for you. If you want it something like fun and personalized on the front, then you can do that. Now, moving down to some of the interior options, we do have the Panoramic Vista roof is $15.95. Wasn't available on the SE trim. Uh, so you can see it does have a power sunshade that opens up uh, and then a glass, uh, front glass that opens up as well. So you, that's available for you for $15.95. There you go. Now, do note that if you do get this, it is not available with the roof rack side rails uh, or the sport appearance package. So it cannot have the side rails to have this. Since the side rails are standard on the sport appearance package, you cannot get the panor panoramic Vista roof with the black appearance packet or the sport appearance package. So make note of that. Um, so just so you know that also you lose the LED dome light for the second row if you get the panoramic Vista roof. So something to note there. Um, speaking of that, I don't know if I made note of anything else. Oh, the, the wheel earlier we talked about, if you get the optional wheel, is not available with the Sport Appearance Package too. Makes sense because it gets its own wheel. Um, anything else that I forgot to mention, any notes? Uh, on the Mini Spare, you know, if you get that, you do lose a tire, spare tire and a flighter kit. Um, there you go. Yep, I think I've covered everything else. So, all right, moving on down. Some of the floor liners are considered an accessory, uh, but Ford would put them in your vehicle before they ship it. You have two options, one with the mats, it's $200. Or if you don't need the carpeted mats, you can go to the 160 option and they'll send you just the floor liners. So that's an option for you as well. Cargo net is something else you can add that the, they put in at the factory. Um, and by the way, those are the prices for the floor liners. That is correct on those uh, 200 and 160. And did I get the parent Vista roof is... 1595 is the same, so I forgot to mention that. Um, and then cargo net, $50. Um, it's still $50 this year as well. So a lot of these prices have stayed the same from year to year. Um, heated steering wheel, $350. That is an option because the heated steering wheel is um, is not included. So if you want the heated steering wheel, $350. It's a standalone option. You can add it to your build. Um, there may be at some point where that Ford might say we need to remove that to get production done. At this point in time, that is not the case. Um, so it was three fifty last year. This year, it is also three fifty. So yeah, a lot of these are staying the same. Um, and then the other accessories. Now, one thing I didn't go over on the interior is seating configuration. Uh, we do know that this uh, one seat um, was included in the Sport Appearance package. We'll say no there. But this other middle option, like the wheel option, is available if you want to. So instead of the Active X, if you like a lot of the features from the SEL, but you don't want the Active X seats and you want cloth seats, you can add cloth seats to your order instead if you want. So that is an option. Again, you won't get the Active X seats. Um, and it does say the base, the, the steering wheel might be a little different. Uh, I don't know why on this one here it says the steering wheel is included that the base steering wheel is included when the Ford Copilot 360 Plus and the tow package um, and the heated steering wheel are not ordered. So um, 
so you'll get a different steering wheel than what's standard so for some reason so it may not come with a leather feature feature on that so keep that in mind as well and that seat i uh, just want to make sure i got, have that covered um that's page two here um Yes, that seat is a no charge. So if you want to go to that seat, it won't cost you anything different. Um, it is an option for you. Sorry. Um, so there you go. Now, that's all of the factory options. Now, I do want to cover some of the ones we skipped over earlier. These are dealer installed options, which means that Ford will ship the parts and supplies to the dealership. It won't cost you any extra for that. And then the dealership would install it, and they won't charge you an install fee for that. So that's a benefit of doing it that way. Some of these don't really include an install, and they're very cheap to ship. That I'd probably try to do those through Ford Accessories website if you, if you can. Um, so let's go over some of these in, these options. Um, of course, the first one is the roadside assistance kit, um, and we'll double check pricing as well on these because they were different on the SE. Um, so the um, roadside assistance kit is seventy dollars this year as well. You can see it basically includes all these supplies. The dealer would put them in the bag and put it in your vehicle for you. So they and some dealers may not even put it in the bag. They may just say, "Here you go, put it in the vehicle, let you do that for yourself." Uh, either way, that's how that would be go. And you can again get through that through Ford Accessories. Now, the Yakima roof rail crossbars, the silver ones, uh, these are going to go between the roof the rails. You will have to order the rails, the side rails as well. Um, and this will get you those the, the side rails. So if you want to add some sort of Yakima roof rack cargo system, then you can do that. Um, and so this would probably be one that I would probably um, go ahead and and have them, the dealer, install them. So that would probably be something I would order from there. Um, let's see, this year that is the cost is 830 for that as well. Uh, so there you go there. So and uh, yeah. All right. So it's showing both silver and black. Okay. Um, and then moving down, you have the wheel locking lug nuts. So that is more expensive this year. Um, so basically they would replace one of your lug nuts on each of your wheels with the locking one. So people can't uh, take your wheels, especially if you get that sport appearance package or the upgraded 18s. You might want that. Uh, so that wheel locking kit is $80 now. So it's upgraded a little bit. Um, and then the mud flaps, mud flaps uh, front and rear, so it'll put mud flaps on your vehicle. Dealership would install that. That might be something you might think about doing, because then that way you don't have to worry about a cost of an install fee or doing it yourself. Is 184 this year, so it's gone up six bucks uh, for that. Moving to the interior, we do have the first aid kit, as you can see with that one. Uh, I believe that stayed the same as $50 this year. Includes all these things and puts it in a bag, nice little carry case. Again, the dealership would put that in your vehicle for you. Um, some dealers would be nice enough to put it in the bag for you as well. Um, the cargo organizers, a couple different ones. Um, I believe they're more expensive. I know that on some of the vehicles, uh, they're a little bit more expensive. This says 108. Um, some of the vehicles, it was 110 for that. So more expensive than it is last year. This is actually the standard size one, which would be um, $96 this year, saying in here, which was 100 on most vehicles. So 96 to 100 is probably what you're looking at. And then the um, you do have this the large one and the small ones. So the large one would be uh, 108. It's saying in here, but I might plan for 110 because that's what it is on the Expedition. So and it's the same bag. Um, cooler bag uh, is more expensive. It's 40 41 dollars in here. It's showing, uh, so that's an option, and that's also something you can get through Ford Accessories if you want to. And uh, we do have the center console vault, which is probably something with a coated uh, coated lock. Um, $400. It's still $400 this year. Uh, that is probably something I would have the dealership install for you because then that way you don't have to try to install it yourself. I heard they're pretty easy to install, but if you don't want to do that, you would do that instead. So that's all of our standard equipment, a couple different packages available, as well as standalone options all in this video. Hope you guys did get a lot of good content from this and information and it was very thorough use those timestamps to move around the video go back revisit some things if you need to and uh, hopefully it's a good resource for you again don't forget order banks are open up right now for the 2024 ford edge this is the last year for the ford edge uh, i think it's only being produced through uh i don't know through i think next summer so uh, you know you know if you want an edge maybe want to upgrade uh, you might want to make sure you get your hands on a 2024 because it will not be around for 2025 model year so also, don't forget, uh, go to your good local dealerships, some great local dealerships. We actually highlight them in our live streams every week, some good 
dealerships to, that you can work with. Uh, a couple things to take note of when you go in to do your order, uh, just to make sure that they know uh, what's going on. Uh, one of them is, is that you want to make sure you ask them how they're going to price the vehicle to you. So when you order the vehicle, when you're ordering ahead of time, you kind of want to know that so that when it comes in, there's no nothing that you didn't expect, right? Uh, so especially when you're waiting for a couple months to get your vehicle in. So you want to make sure, hey, find out, first of all, what are they going to price it? Are they going to add, what are they going to add to that price when it comes in? Are they going to uh, make you take any kind of aftermarket things as a requirement? Get to find that out ahead of time is always good and get that in writing and have them sign it as well as their dealer fee. What's their dealer fee as well? So that's something just a, you know, one thing you'll want to probably do. Another thing you'll want to probably ask them about is price protection. So one of the things a lot of people don't know and some dealers don't even know is, is that Ford will price protect the vehicle from when you ordered it. So when you order the vehicle, Ford knows when you ordered it and what the price was when you ordered, and they're going to protect you to that price. So if that if the price goes up and there are price increases um, from you know, throughout the year, uh, if that price goes up from the from between the time you order and the time it comes in, Ford will reimburse the dealer back that difference for that. So that you still are getting the price that it was when you ordered the vehicle. So uh, that's called price protection. So make sure your dealership knows, hey, do you know price protection? You're going to honor the price now if the price goes up later and make sure you get that in writing as well, that they know how that works. And it's a good idea to get the Dora, a copy of the Dora as well, because that's a Dora is a dealer order receipt acknowledgement that acknowledges that, that they received that and that's the 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 page that the ford is going off of when they price your vehicle to you and reimburse reimburse you so also the last thing the third thing you want to make sure you know is about locked in rates and incentives so will they um do that so it's called protect date and incentives they call it in smart vincent when your vehicle comes in they'll see hey what are what were the rates when i ordered it and the incentives, are there any rebates at the time? First, what are they right now? And that way you can choose, it's your option to choose one of those. Uh, so that's kind of, kind of called in locker in rates. So if there's some great rates going on when you order the vehicle, you'll definitely want to protect those and get those. And Ford will do that for you as well. You want to make sure they know how to do that. Of course, these are all things that Law MacArthur will do and honor for you without asking. Uh, so we do that as well. And our dealer fee is for, uh, $4.99. Uh, so we're very... Um, you know, we tell you that right up front, very transparent about that. We add nothing else to our vehicle, no aftermarket add-ons or anything like that. We do have an aftermarket department. If you want to purchase things, that is uh, your uh, prerogative. You can do that, but that will not be added and required to be purchased on any of your vehicles. So uh, with Law MacArthur, we do MSRP pricing on these as well. Um, and, uh, and of course we know how to lock in incentives and price protection and all that. In fact, I have special videos out there on price protection, uh, that I've helped clue other dealerships in as well. So if you want to order through us, don't forget, we have a YouTube special thousand dollars towards your shipping costs or travel expenses. If you finance a vehicle with us at standard rates. So, uh, if you, uh, you know, live out of state, we can ship the vehicle from us to you and pay for the first thousand dollars of the shipping cost. If you want to fly in drive your vehicle home we'll pay for flights travel expenses gas and such on the way home just give us receipts again up to thousand dollars for that as well so some people take us uh, up on that so if you want to do that uh, we'll take your uh, ford edge order and be able to put that in for you uh, right now we don't have any retail orders for the ford edge uh, and uh, so you can probably get scheduled pretty quickly with us and get your vehicle pretty fast uh, probably most dealerships will be the same way as well but anyway hopefully you guys uh, found some great benefit of this video uh, hopefully you got a good, good Ford dealership. Go get an order from them. Uh, and, uh, if you did like the video, smash the like button. I'd appreciate it. Also, uh, don't forget if you like video like this, you'll probably like some of our other videos. So hit that subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell. So you can be notified the next time of another video uploaded to the YouTube channel. We are going to be going through the rest of the edge videos. We have two more to cover, uh, before we finish this out. So we'll be looking for those videos. Make sure you're subscribed and that notification is turned on so you can see those as well. So. Thank you very much for watching this video. Until the next one, don't forget to stay positive, be kind to one another, be kind to yourself, and we'll see you in the next video.